There's a little bit of that here, but not much. I I hope so. Again, I I jumped into um I jumped back into the 3DS one, the the Metroid 2 remake. Just to just to be like, I, I I'm gonna finish playing through this, finish getting the thoughts on it, other than just bouncing off. I was like about a third through it, and then I I went the rest of the way through. I didn't hundred percent it or anything, because I don't think it's worth it, but anyway. Metroids! A virulent floating organism that drained energy from its prey through physical contact. Metroids were originally created by the Chozo and named after their word for Ultimate Warrior. I don't remember that being part of the lore, but okay. I know Chozo are like a thing, but I don't remember them creating Metroids. That seems weird. You kind of forgot you could counter for a while? Fair. Their value as a bioweapon sparked several crises, and as a result, all traces of them have been eliminated. They are now extinct. Yep. And then Parasite X came into the thing. Gelatinous parasitic organism indigenous to the planet SR388. It would absorb the DNA of its hosts, living or dead, and replicate its form. While infecting a living host, it could even access the host's memories. Hey, Rose Red. X parasites are driven not by emotion, but by the instinctive need to replicate and spread to increasingly stronger hosts. Their inability to be controlled marked them as even more dangerous than the sole predator, the Metroids. Like the Metroids, they are believed extinct. For those who don't know, Metroid 4, uh, also known as Metroid Fusion, is where X parasites were originally introduced, and this whole thing came into, into play. Uh... And that's also why Samus is, like, fused to her suit now. Yeah, she got... They're, they're showing us. She got ex-parasited. So this is all flashback to Metroid Fusion stuff. With no Metroids surviving on SR388, it became infested with the ex-parasites. Horrifying parasites capable of imitating any living being. Unaware of this, I set foot on the planet. I got infected and almost died. This is very, like, kind of silly. The way this is retelling Fusion. I guess maybe not a lot of people played Fusion. The only thing that saved me was a vaccine created from Metroid DNA, which also left me uniquely able to oppose the X. This ability was tested immediately when I went to a biological space laboratories. BL, BSL, that feels like a really awkward sentence. Research station to investigate a distress signal. Right, we're Metroiding, we are. <gasps> ex-parasite Samus. There I battled many powerful X-forms, including SAX, which was the X mimicking me in my power suit at full strength. I eventually eliminated the X-menace on SR388 by setting the BSL research station on a collision course with the planet. After that, the X and Metroids were just memories. Or so we thought. Just when it all seemed over, the Galactic Federation received a mysterious video transmission. Oh my god, that's an ex-parasite. Always destroying planets. Does... Does Samus blow up a bunch of other planets? Hold on. Because you don't destroy any in 1, 2, or 3. Does the planet get destroyed in Prime? I can't remember if you end up destroying the planet at the end of Prime. I don't think you do. I think... I think... 
I think that's the only planet destruction. Unless, of course, something happened in, like, other M that I didn't play. Because SR388 is where 1 and 2 both take place. And SR388 is the thing they crash into. So you don't destroy SR388 before fusion. Anyway, it showed an X alive and in the wild. Thorough analysis proved the video was real. Although the sender was unknown, the transmission was traced to a particular planet. It was called ZDR. If the X had somehow escaped extinction out there, they would pose a threat to the entire galaxy. The Galactic Federation dispatched a research team of seven Emmy to investigate. I do know a little bit about the Emmy because this was like a big part of their uh, marketing. An Emmy is a large research robot designed to capture field samper samples and extract their DNA. Their incredible mobility and protective plating made of the strongest stuff in the universe practically guaranteed the mission's success. But not long after their arrival on ZDR, all communication was lost. Hello. I think that's where I come in. What's ha what is happening on ZDR? Is the planet really infested with X? As the only one immune to the parasites, it's up to me to go there and find out. Hopefully get paid for it, too. Boop, boop. A bit of a load here. A bit more than I would have expected. I'm sure it's fine. So how's everybody been doing this weekend so far? Get to do anything fun? I have done very little. I did that commentating last night. That was a lot of fun. I have a lot more fun commentating than I expect to every time for some reason. Also, voice acting? What? I mean, I guess it's a robot voice. It's not. Also, what do you mean it doesn't seem appropriate? Oh, okay. I'm a hell of a commentator. Oh, thank you. Got back to a bit of Iceborne yesterday in Luigi's Mansion 3 today. Nice. Me and Lennox were a good team. Yeah. Yeah, we we seem to flow pretty well back and forth. It's always kind of a weird thing because I basically have never met any of these people I end up commentating with before, like five minutes before we start. Wait, what, what the hell just happened? Why am I on the ground, passed out? Did we crash? Alright, Samus, I feel like we missed a, uh... A bit of something here. That elevator leads to the depths of an or we're having a dream? Oh no, here we go. Thank you, Robo Voice. No objections, computer. It's like listening to pros on a pro match. I don't know about that. I don't know if we were that good, but. Hello? Apparently a living Chozo? A little strange.
Alright. So we... We got fucked up by some kind of Chozo Guardian thing. The whole Chozo thing has been really strange in the Metroid universe, because... To the best of my memory, the first direct mention of them, like, named, was Prime. And I feel like their influence on everything just really got, like, bigger and bigger as the games continued from there. Alright, we got a little slide. I got this button for aiming. That turns me into missiles, it looks like. Start with 15 missiles. Nothing on my R button. Okay, that's my counter. A doesn't do anything. Alright, well hopefully there's no A on system. But other than that, the controls feel very similar to uh, how they functioned in the Game Boy. The, the Game Boy one. Oh, that's a charge blade door, isn't it? Or charge blade? Jesus. Charge shot. You're sleepy. You're always sleepy, warp. Feels a little... Oh, what is this? It feels like... The general move speed of Samus feels weirdly high for the beginning of the game. Just as, like, the, the running motion here. The, like, 0 to 60, it feels like. Also... Oh, it's weird. Extremely Metroid, though. How's Dread? We literally just started. Alright, well, I don't have more falls, so that's not happening. That, like, auto-target slightly? That was weird. That seemed like an auto target. Oh, no. Maybe it's because you can shoot while sliding. I see. Okay. It wasn't an auto target. I just shot while I was still sliding. Yes, hello. Are you the communication network thing? So, you've accessed the network station. Well done, Samus. I have reviewed your vital signs and video log from the data you uploaded. Oh, thank you, Adam. I've run a full analysis, but I cannot account for why you lost consciousness. My readings indicate dramatic physical changes in you. That's strange. Whatever caused these changes seems to have stripped you of most abilities. You might call it physical amnesia. Uh, that's pretty funny, uh excuse for you to lose stuff but that brings me to your assailant i am checking the i would have i'm trying to remember infusion the attacker's identity is not yet clear infusion when you're getting your abilities i'm pretty sure it's mostly from like absorbing uh parasite x stuff to like gain your abilities because you are fused Hence fusion with your suit at that point. It's a lot less of the like, you know, grabbing, grabbing a new type of missile you can load in your arm and that kind of thing. Um, so I guess like the idea that Chozo made Metroid to fight Parasite X, if they could de-parasite X me, I have determined that, that would make me lose abilities. It makes some kind of sense, I suppose. So kind of weird. On the surface. This situation is precarious. Trust your instincts as you 
navigate upward. This Thank you, Adam. appears to consist of multiple areas, shuttles, elevators, and other modes of transport connect them. Keep an eye out for ways to reach the surface. The ship's location is marked on your global map. Check it for yourself. You may encounter pockets mm -hmm. of low temperature. Your metro DNA renders you vulnerable to such environments. <gasps> Spending time in cold air. Cold temperature? Instead of lava? I have to be worried about the cold? Oh no! Do not enter them with your basic power suit. One final thing. Underground interferences. That's actually kind of funny too. Instead of the like super hot areas, it's cold areas. <laughs> Alright. Yes, I would love to save. Thank you. Alright, let's take a look at our map. That's on... Plus button. Ammo recharge station. Alright, so that, I'm pretty sure, was charge door. Power beam missile. Okay. Okay. Onward. Yeah, these ones that are like kind of faded out. Global max from X. Oh. My god, the counter attack. I want to ignore it for the most part. It doesn't want to let me ignore it, does it? Right, this is early game. I have, like, no health. I need to remember that. I am surprised I didn't get my wall jump there. I know they have that flash. The flash looks a little more apparent in this compared to that Game Boy one, which is good. Kind of annoying to look for in the other one. Still just don't want to stop and deal with it much. Oh, I can do it jumping now, and I got like a run version. Okay, at least it's quicker. Oh, why did that happen? Ah, okay. Wing with the raid, hello. Why didn't it make a noise? I don't know. But I see it. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you for the raid. Let me give you a shout out real quick. I'm sure everybody remembers that Wing is uh, our resident best Yoku player ever. Nice to see you. How you doing today, Wing? Ooh, missile upgrade? Hell yeah. A whole two more. Okay, well, I can't go through that. That's annoying. Whoa! Play tango today? I don't even know what playing tango means. Oh no, it's an Emmy. It looks all electric y. Okay, well, I can't go under it. I can be countered when a flash happens. Okay. Can I not get over it? Uh, alright. No. Oh, okay. I have to counter it, then I can slide under. I see. That one seems pretty badly damaged. And I also did not know you were here. Hi, Haralad. How you doing? I might have missed you saying something. Did 
Can I just get a new power from touching a brain? No. The energy from central unit transformed arm cannon to omega cannon. Oh. Once charged, press Y while holding it. Oh, I have to hold R. Oh, that's kind of weird. You have to aim and hold R. Huh. Alright. Well, that's a little awkward, but I'm sure it's fine. Oh, do I still have it? Oh, weird. That takes a very long time. That takes a very long time to charge up. Also, I apparently missed the counter window. Bang. All right, worked that time. Oh no, my cannon is depleted. I'm reverting to regular arm cannon. Oh, okay, so it replaces your missile. I guess it's not as awkward as it could have been. Anyway, you were saying, oh, that's not the right one. I hit X, I can see my ship. Oh yeah, way up at the top. Hello. Don't mind if I do. Love to save. Oh, I needed to do that so I could actually jump high enough, of course. Water! I know how this stuff works. Also, what is happening here? We got fog doors in this game now? What? <laughs> okay. Oh. Maybe fog doors just indicate an Emmy zone? I can't climb on that. Or nor, it's another Emmy. And this one's not all broken looking. Samus, I feel like this one being less fucked up than the first one. And the first one not dying easy should indicate something. Oh, dirt. I am missing a lot of these jumps. I have no idea what was in the background, but it sure seemed semi-invisible. That's a little scary. More missiles! I should probably be using my missiles more, honestly. Dark Souls boss, not quite.
Well, maybe it will be. I guess we'll find out when we get there, right? It seemed like it was hinting that I'm gonna fight something like that. They may have been hacked. If so, it's reasonable to assume all any will be possible. But it seems reasonable, yeah. in the air within a certain range. Essentially, they can hear you. Upon detecting vibrations, an enemy enters surveillance mode to track their source. Stay out of its line of sight when this happens. Otherwise, the danger to you increases dramatically. Okay, so they can see or hear me. They can mostly hear me, but that's kind of how they see me. Gotcha. Okay. That's weird. To survive, you must leave its range of pursuit. If a DME and it will disengage, this enemy never leaves its assigned zone. Their control system must permit them to operate only within that range. Alright, so they're not going to chase me anywhere. They have a specific small area they are confined to. Probability of death if an Got it. You. There may be a very small opportunity to escape, but exploiting this window will be virtually impossible. Don't worry, I'm sure speedrunners will learn how to do it immediately every time, never fail. Your only option now is to evade capture and find an exit. Your highest priority in an enemy zone should be simply to survive. Alright, thanks, Adam. Oh no, that's an Emmy zone over there. Seems like they're doing a lot more to indicate uh, things you can shoot than they have in some older Metroid games. Maybe I'm crazy. Where am I going? Um, probably there. That's a normal door. All right. Oh, hi, Emmy. Can't get through there. That's not where I'm going. Okay, okay. Oh, found the Emmy. Oh, this is bad. That is a very small window on those ones. Did I ignore that missile upgrade? I couldn't get to it. I needed to, like, climb in. I'll try again real quick. Uh, assuming I can go back there. Yeah, I think I needed more fall for it. Oh my god, let me wall jump. Flip and slide, here we go. Don't know where I'm going, but I found a way out of the zone. Oh, it's gonna be nice when I get phaser beam or something to make shooting those guys not this tedious. These tiny boys. Can't do that yet. Oh, I can't do that yet either. Morph ball, where are you at? These save points seem very frequent. I mean, that's good. 
But I'm like kind of surprised. I'm used to like... I'm used to not having save points literally everywhere in a Metroid game. Oh, 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 I slid. need a gravity suit at some point. Now I can't climb through there, but lowered the water. That might have been good. Oh, definitely. Now I can actually go up here. I see. I went the right way on accident. Well, this is different. Hello, map room, maybe? Yes, okay. Hurry map downloaded. Great. Oh, and a save. Oh, nice. 